truck is over here and today this video is about the iconic exhaust stacks on a Peterbilt truck and you guys know what my truck looks like it looks great and those stacks really really uh, set it off and everything it's just the iconic look of a truck but here's the thing on these new trucks one of these ain't real let me show you guys so if you actually look underneath here the exhaust goes to there and it just stops <laughs> doesn't go anywhere but it's still got the look and everything so she don't smoke when she drinks but anyway so this is my uh, only exhaust uh, stack that I have now. In my other trucks, they used to come up from the DPF filter, have a little Y here that split off, and one went into here, one went into there, but it ended up being such an aggressive angle here that nothing really came up out of this stack. And so what I'm assuming is that you lost efficiency with that Y pipe um, and not getting the correct amount of um, exhaust pulse back to the engine and everything. Uh, get the right back pressure and everything to get, you know, right amount of torque out of the engine. Either that or it's just easier just to have this exhaust coming out of here. You know, you got to have these knock sensors, particulate matter sensors and, and uh, temperature sensor there. And everything it's probably just a hassle to put that Y pipe in there and end up putting two stacks on there but here's the thing man you could tell because all that DPF uh, DEF diesel exhaust fluid creates all that stuff on there so yeah they don't they don't smoke like they used to when I have my cat engine but uh, it still looks pretty cool well, I just wanted to tell you that only one of these are real. And another thing is, as you guys probably don't know, there's no mufflers here. There's no mufflers on any new truck. And that's because the DPF filter chokes down the exhaust so much. I mean, that's as loud as, when you hear a truck, that's as loud as it's ever going to get. You can put 8-inch stacks on here, it ain't going to make a lick of difference. If you still got that DPF filter. So if you ever hear a newer truck, like my boss's old truck, if you ever hear a newer truck that's got exhaust that uh, you know you hear Jake Wick, blah 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 and everything sounds good, I tell you what that is. It's what's called a glider kit. And a glider kit means that you buy a brand new truck, bare for well, it's not bare frame, but it's everything is new except for it has no engine, no transmission, and no rear end. And legally, you could put whatever engine and whatever transmission you want in there. And you only have to abide by the emissions regulations of the year of the engine. So a lot of guys buy brand new trucks. They rebuild a 97 Cat 3406E that runs real good and a lot of them you know if you got one truck you might be exempt from log books uh, depending on how you incorporate your business but uh, anyway yeah i just i just want to tell you guys that so these technically are straight pipes but uh there ain't no ba 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 jake break anymore but uh but yeah so like i said if you if you hear hear a newer truck so it sounds good. They they don't have a, a DPF uh, sis, system on there. It's a glider kit, okay? Um, I just want to tell you guys that a lot of people don't know these exhausts are just straight pipes now, and it's all choked by the DPF filter and, and that dummy stack over there. I just thought that was kind of interesting. Just wanted to make, the, make a quick video about it. It's Matt with Tis for Truckers. Have a great day.